This video will show you how to establish topology for a vector polygon feature clause within ArcGIS Pro. With topology, you can establish rules that will allow you to define and then enforce certain spatial relationships within your geodatabase. You can establish topological rules for a single feature class or multiple feature classes. The data we're going to be using for this particular example is a shapefile containing land use land cover codes. It's a polygon feature class, and each polygon has a single LULC, or land use land cover code, in the short integer data type. The shapefile is a wonderful format for sharing vector data as it's universally readable. However, it doesn't allow us to establish topological rules. In order to do that, we're going to need to make use of the functionality within our geo database. We're first going to set up something called a feature dataset, which is a spatial container for both our feature class and our topology rules. We're then going to import our feature class into the geo database. Then finally, we're going to establish our topological rules and look at our errors. So let's go in and set up our feature dataset. A feature dataset, once again, is a spatial container. I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to establish a coordinate system, which I'm going to set to match my existing LULC layer. It's tempting to think of a feature dataset as a subfolder for organizing your data, but it should only be used in those cases where you have feature classes that are spatially or thematically related. All feature classes within a feature dataset must share the same spatial reference. When you import a feature class into a feature dataset, if it does not have the same coordinate system as the feature dataset, ArcGIS will run the project tool under the hood to convert it from one coordinate system to the coordinate system of the feature dataset. With our feature dataset established, we'll go ahead and import our feature class, that shapefile LULC layer, into the feature dataset. Our input features are going to be the shapefile, the output location is the feature dataset, and I'm going to give my feature class a new name, LULC Lamoille. I also have the option on import to make modifications to my field map. In this case, I'm going to leave the field name the same as LULC, but I'm going to change the alias to something more meaningful. The alias will display this particular name when I open up the attribute table within ArcGIS. Importing the shapefile into my geodatabase doesn't change any of the geometric attributes of the shapefile. It simply converts it from the shapefile feature class format to the geodatabase feature class format, and it also puts it inside my geodatabase. I'm now removing my shapefile from the map. We're going to take a look at the attributes of the geodatabase feature class. We see that it has that land use land cover field, but now we see the alias displayed, the full name land use land cover, as opposed to just the letters LULC. Topology rules are established by creating a new topology within the feature dataset. Topology can only be created within a feature dataset. It cannot be generated at the parent geodatabase level, nor at the feature class level. When we create a new topology, it opens a Create Topology wizard. We'll first select the features we want to participate in the topology. We can then navigate using the menu on the left, or we can click Next and Previous at the bottom. Moving to the second section, we'll define the rules. I'm going to select my feature class, and now I'm going to apply two rules. The first is that it must not have gaps. We don't want our land cover dataset to have gaps between the polygons. The next is must not overlap. We don't want to double count any of the areas we're mapping. So we have two rules, must not have gaps and must not have overlaps. In the final summary section, we can review the rules that we've established and then click finish to finish generating the topology. Now we're going to add our topology to the map and validate it so that we can view the violations of the topology rules. When we add the topology to the map, we can see all the different symbology we have for topology, but we won't see any of the errors yet until we go to the Edit menu, select our topology, and open up the Error Inspector. With the Error Inspector open, I'm going to zoom out to the full extent of my feature dataset, and then click on the Validate button. By default, Validate only validates topology within the extent. Validation is where topology checks for errors to the rules. Topology is not validated automatically. You have to manually initiate it. The Error Inspector allows me to highlight the areas that violate my topology rules, specifically the must not have gaps and must not have overlaps rules. We'll show you in a follow-on video 
how to deal with these particular errors and correct them so you no longer have any topology violations. This tutorial showed you how to set up and establish topology rules within a geodatabase. Keeping in mind that you must use a geodatabase for topology, and the feature classes that you wish to participate in that topology must be contained within a feature dataset. Once you have established your topology, you can validate it to review the errors.